Hello all. Uh, I hope you can see me and hear me well. Uh, my name is Stefan Milojkovic and today I will be your guide for workshop. Um, first of all, thank you for joining us. The purpose of this workshop is for you to get to know what WSCAD is and also to see what the workflow looks like in this software. Uh, as you will see later on, the modules we are going to go over are electrical engineering and cabinet engineering module. Also, this workshop is being recorded, so you will get the, the recording afterwards as well. At the end of this workshop, a survey will pop up in your browser regarding your impression or webinar. And we would really appreciate your, your feedback, so it would be great if you could fill it up. Uh, later on, my colleague Gasper Konevšek will be joining us to show you a demonstration of WSCAD software. Here he is. <laughs> uh, and uh, he will give you some tips and tricks on how to use this software uh, and achieve better efficiency and productivity with it. So to start off with this webinar, let's go over what we will cover today. First off, uh, an introduction of who we are as XRIT. Uh, then we will go over some facts about WSCAD, followed by product overview, uh, what is WSCAD Electrics, augmented reality application for mobile devices. And the third uh, part of WSCAD solution, the part database and engineering data, WSCAD universe. Uh, then uh, we will go over some of our customers' experience with this solution. From there, Gasper will take over with his demonstration of the software. And at the very end, we will answer any questions you may have. Uh, you can submit your questions at any time during this uh, workshop in the chat or the Q&A section of Zoom. So we are uh, XRIP. We offer innovative software and hardware solutions from world leading manufacturers for industrial and energy automation and digitization. Our partners are WSCAD, Copa Data, XR International, Mitsubishi, Coretigo, Stumbach, Thriller, GP Systems, Saitec, and Sukintec. We offer services in uh, adapting the solutions to your needs, providing consulting services and technical support. We operate from three offices. One is in Ljubljana, uh, where Gasper is, one in Zagreb and one here in Belgrade. As a company, uh, we are in business for almost 20 years and we cover the territories of eight countries in our region. Now we will go over some facts about WSCAD. So WSCAD uh, as a company and also as a software exists for more than 30 years. They started off as a small company and later became part of the Bull Group that has over 700 employees, uh, present in 18 countries uh, worldwide, counting over 35,000 users. And an interesting as well as important fact is that 25% of their revenues, revenues is reinvested back into the R&D sector. Uh, this results in constantly improving existing, existing functionalities as well as adding new ones. Uh, regarding the industries, our focus is on the machinery and plant engineering, building automation and electrical installation. Now we will see what are the uh, components of the WSCAD product. This solution is made out of three components. The first one is the, the program itself, WSCAD Electrics, which is the most up-to-date version of software. Second part of this equation is WSCAD Universe, uh, the engineering data and parts database. It has over 1.4 million parts from over 350 different manufacturers. 
And uh, last, we have augmented reality applications. Later, you will see uh, AR app for distribution cabinets in action through a video we have prepared for you. Uh, with WSCAD, we offer you a high level of flexibility as WSCAD is modular and scalable, which results in solution tailored to your needs, uh, while offering all the tools needed for uh, planning, designing, and development of electrical machines, plants, and buildings. As I mentioned in the beginning, today we will demonstrate the use of electrical and cabinet engineering modules. Uh, the electrical engineering discipline enables engineers and designers to, to plan, develop, and document medium, low, and extra low voltage systems in mechanical engineering and in industrial and building automation. Uh, we have symbols as per IEC 81346 standard, foreign language translation, and smart PDF export besides other functionalities. The cabinet engineering discipline uh, provides a significant amount of support for the design and layout cabinets. For example, the, the exact and optimal placement of components, collision checks for objects, and the calculation of wire lengths and wire routes already during the plan. Uh, here in the, the lower half of this slide, we can see what the process flow looks like with this module. Uh, today, Gasper will show you the steps in the process flow with uh, displaying the, the fill ratio of cable ducts uh, being the last step we will cover in today's demonstration. And you will also see what the uh, Smart PDF export looks like. With, uh, with the WSCAD cabinet AR app, you can use your, your mobile device to retrieve information about the components of, uh, of, of a control cabinet. All you have to do is scan the, the WSCAD QR codes attached to the components with your mobile device cam. Uh, here is the video I mentioned earlier uh, with the demonstration of the, the application. And in WSCAD, you can generate and print the WSCAD QR codes for the parts via the label output. Uh, with this app, uh, maintenance, maintenance personnel and service technicians have immediate access to, to the actual schematic, including uh, BMK, 3D views of the, the component, part data, and original data sheets from the, from the manufacturer. Also, the availability of a component can be determined in real time. Uh, you can also download this, uh, this app free of charge, as it is uh, a free app. Um, <clears throat> Now for the WSCAD universe, over 145,000 of ECAD users are utilizing WSCAD universe in their work. Uh, we have a record of 40% uh, uh, annual growth in users and 35% growth in manufacturers. We are also proud of the fact that this is awarded as the best ECAD article that, that database. And all of this is free of charge for users and manufacturers. Next up uh, are some of our customers' stories. Uh, the electrical engineers at uh, Hosokawa Alpine use the electrical CAD solution from WSCAD to design the required documentation and the design of the control cabinet. Uh, they get their work done 20 to 30 percent faster when creating electrical documents. At BSG, um, electrical engineering includes, amongst other things, the insertion of electrical me measurement points in procedure plans, the development of circuit diagrams with material, cable, and distribution list, the configuration of the switch cabinets at, and uh, terminal boxes, and finally, the, the use of data generated by the production of the switchgear. 
they were able to achieve up to 90% shorter project planning phases. Uh, at Fraport, uh, they have successfully designed the, the complete building and room automation for Terminal 3 at Frankfurt Airport. And this includes uh, 1,500 rooms, 240 controls, and 150,000 automation functions. Uh, here we have uh, more of the customers who were successfully deploying WSCAD in their work. We have AMD, Siemens, uh, Coca-Cola, Philips, Opel, Honeywell, uh, and others. Now, uh, Gasper will take over with, with uh, demonstration of this software. Gasper, I would like to welcome you. The world is yours. Thank you, Stefan. Uh, first of all, I, will, I would say uh, hello to everybody uh, from my side too. And uh, now I will just share uh, the screen. So, as we already told, uh, we have uh, six disciplines, and for each discipline, we have a predefined uh, work area. Um, we can easily uh, change our workspace, uh, as you can see. And now uh, I will create some project. Um, uh, here is uh, some structure. We have more structure, more templates for structure. For example, building automation. And uh, we, now we will work in section with plant and mounting location structure, which include all document types. The name of our project will be webinar. Um, here we can uh, select some form templates for cover sheet or, or um, reports and for schematics and single lines, so on. Later on, on the uh, project, we can also change our frame. Here we will work in mounting location and plant. Uh, the, here we will create some sub project. We can create more sub project, but, but in our case, we will create just one. So click next. Um, and this is our design area. And uh, VSCAD has benefit, uh, cross-disciplinary benefit. For example, if we create some PNID diagram, and there are some elements which include uh, schematics in fluid and um, symbols in fluid and schematics, we can just uh, drag and drop into these uh, disciplines uh, through material list and everything is cross uh, cross reference now uh, we will insert some pages let's say five for our project and we will name them we can name uh, more more pages at once. Okay. All pages are named. And on the right side, as you can see, we have a symbol explorer, macro explorer, and material explorer. In symbol, symbol explorer, we have a big library. Uh, for example, if you go to the folder uh, DIN 81346, this is standard for electrical engineering all needed symbols are in our library. And then we have a category. Uh, we can search under category our symbols and we have a filter for each discipline. As you can see, we will go back to electrical engineering and we have a search engine 
and favorite folders where we can store our symbols. Uh, we already designed some uh, macro macros for our demonstration. Macros are predefined schematics uh, which are stored in special folder under special name that everybody in office knows what they are for. They can use for multiple times. So we will place right click and uh, place. Now we have a uh, power supply in our, in our uh, project. We need, let's say, some more loads for our project. We will place some motors. like this, and we can duplicate these motors, these elements. And as you can see, we have uh, automate, the software automatically calculate the distance between these elements, which is a benefit. And now I will show you how to insert some, some uh, terminals into the shim. There's a special way. So uh, we go to the terminal strip and insert these terminals into our shim. So click terminal strip and go there. Um, okay. Uh, here we can insert some parts for terminals. Let's say we will take uh, Vago parts from Vago. And as you saw, we have some ground terminals, so we will change them to ground. So we go here and we will change the parts to ground parts. So everything will be all right and now we can go to the browser and change the name of these ground terminals with pe and the last one uh, i will change it on the schematics that you will see how to do it so right click change number and then uh, we can just change whatever we want so to p p e so uh in a case if we do some mistake in our project for example if we choose wrong symbol we can simply swap multiple symbols at once So for example, we will change motor starter to motor starter without thermal trigger, okay? And here we can choose on which page we want to change our symbols. Let's say second one, because we have just on second one these symbols, and that's it. Uh, for example, if we don't have a symbol in our library for some reason, we can just simply created by a, our own. So just go to black box, insert in, into the schematics. I will put a grid on. Okay, so we uh, here we can change a pin form, terminal, okay. And the software can set additional pins for us. So we don't need, we don't need to write pins down uh, because software did it for us now we can just edit this symbol okay uh, we can categorize our symbol to switch and switch motor protection starter and here we can do whatever we want for example uh, we will insert some picture in our symbol this and 
we can insert it directly into our project. So at the symbol, yes. And that's it. And we have even one more option if, uh, for example, we just need to uh, create one symbol and then uh, all symbols could be generated. So right click and we go to the function and we will generate all rotation variants. So we need to, we don't need to create this variant because the software did it for us. Okay. Now we will insert some more macros um, for PLC. Like this in the last one for overview. And uh, now we will insert some, uh, some parts from VSCAD universe. Let's say in our project, we will, uh, uh, we will need CPU 1200 from Siemens. We will add it to the chart and we will uh, need a digital output card. And as you can see, we can add to chart multiple parts and then we can uh, import uh, all parts in our chart at once in our project. Okay, now we will insert these parts in our project, in our schematics, CPU. from Siemens. Okay. And this is it. Um, now we will set the digital outputs addresses. So we, here we can, in the browser, we can set, let's say it will be zero first byte. Okay, and we will put a comment in our digital, for our digital outputs. This is it. Okay, we need um, digital output card too. It's the same process. Uh, we will set uh, the, okay, everything is okay, yes. And we will set in the browser um, our channel address to one. The next byte will be one. Okay, and we will put the comments for our digital outputs. So we have motor forward, motor back, so on wheel on, everything uh, looks fine. So we can just insert it on top into our scheme. So in our case, now we have uh, two elements. Uh, VSCAT has parent and child elements and these two elements are parent element elements and they are main. And now we will insert these child elements which are depend from the main elements. So uh, we will just here in PLC Manager insert uh, all five digital outputs together into our project like this. Okay. And on the next page, we need four digital outputs more from digital output card, PLC Manager and we can insert these four digital outputs. Okay. 
And as you can see right now, we have four valves in our project. See, and now I can show you something a little bit about uh, cross reference. If we create new page in Fluid, we can just drag and drop from the material list these valves from schematics, from electrical engineering valves. Yes, one wall. And as you as you can see right now. Uh, Everything is cross reference. We have two uh, cross reference um, through the two disciplines, and we can do for each, each discipline the same. Now we need um, the numbering, so some consistent numbering we want in our project. So here we have in sections uh, which sections we want to number. Uh, let's say we will choose all of them. So um, here we have type of numbering. Uh, we want, for example, this type, sheet name type numbering. Okay, done. Now in supply, in first page, we can see this numbering and everything uh, is consistent. So we will uh, create one more page in cabinet engineering. Because we change a discipline, we will uh, insert some, uh, we will change our uh, cabinet uh, working area to the cabinet engineering. Okay. We change the work area, and because we have just one screen, um, we will put this symbol explorer into the left, and we will insert this 3D view uh, into the right, that you will see everything what's going on in the cabinet when we will insert some parts into. So we set the new uh, work area, no, new workspace. Here we have a material list uh, with all our parts, symbol explorer. Okay, this is a little bit uh, different now, the position. And we, in Macro Explorer, we already created some macro for, from cabinet engineering, and we will use it that uh, everything will go faster for demonstration. Now you can see on the right um, the view. So now we will just insert the cable ducts. And okay. And as you can see right now, we don't need to worry how to put these cable ducts into our mounting panel because the program, the software, automatically cut the ducts for us. And this is, it goes much faster. So this is it. This is our cabinet. Uh, one more duct into the middle. And we will put this DIN rail into the middle too. And the last one. Okay, everything, everything is set. So now we can just um, insert some parts, some elements into our mounting panel. Firstly, we can just start with our fuses. Okay, and now um, we will insert some more parts, let's say 24 volt supply, C-top from Siemens. 
and CPU and uh, digital output card from Siemens, which we already uh, downloaded from the VSCAT universe. Okay. And as you can see, uh, we can insert multiple parts, multiple elements into our mounting panel. And this is benefit uh, when we have a bigger project, we can work much faster. And we will insert some motor protection. And socket. These are our 3D models from uh, Siemens. And uh, now we need uh, some terminal strips too. So some, some terminals we can insert uh, in the same way. So uh, multiple terminals at once. Okay. Everything, everything seems all right. And now we can just uh, do some routing. Some uh, we can calculate the the length of our wires in our cabinet. And later on, you will see the report of all calculated wires and all wires which are belong to our cabinet. And now we can just close the door. We simply go to the function. 3D overlay, overlay uh, and we can just simply close the door and check if everything is all right. It seems good. And this is our cabinet. And we can go uh, now back, uh, back to uh, electrical engineering view. We can switch this view very quickly. Now our working uh, place is uh, organized like before. We can check this schematics, power supply, and now we can just uh, do overall report. We can choose which report we want to generate. In our case, for example, we want to generate all reports. So we will generate them. Okay. And this is it. This is our project with uh, 42 pages. We, we have all needed reports with summary and uh, reference lists, lists with all information, a reference chart with, every, with all elements. We know the routing and material list very well organized with all information. This is terminal chart. And as I told you before, this is wiring chart and all wire length are here. So we have all wire length uh, from our control cabinet. Now we can just export to our smart PDF. Um, we can make output with symbol parameters. Later on, I will explain what is this. We will uh, generate, export this PDF. And this is it. And this is our, this is, this is our PDF, smart PDF. On the left side, we have um, 
sub project with a folder very very well structured project so for example if we have a uh, multiple uh, discipline we have uh, a whole folder for each discipline if we go to schematics right now as i told you this function when we go through the cursor um, with the cursor through the element all information are there as you can see this this and on the right side we have all all information about our elements on the on the our scheme everything is well cross referenced we can go uh, uh, from one discipline to another let's say from fluid back to to our schematics this and i think from my side um, this is it and St stefan maybe we can go back to you and maybe we can have some q a session yes of course thank you Gaspar, for this uh, great demonstration uh, we will now uh, get to the the q a section of our webinar <clears throat> and we will try to answer any questions uh, you may have so some questions has have already arrived um, so the, the first question is is it possible to add symbols to parts which are already created or are downloaded from wscad universe okay Yes, it's possible. Um, we can organize uh, our parts. We can write some symbols. Maybe it's uh, the best way that I show you. Yeah, so sure. Take, take over. Share the screen again mm -hmm. and open the program. Uh, we go. So, yes, if we go here and uh, maybe we can just uh, open some part let's say uh, this part uh, i'm sorry gosh but just uh, you you didn't share the screen oh, oh sorry sorry share uh, now we see uh, each other we see our screen do you see my screen Okay. Uh, yes yes now it's good okay okay so um i just went uh, in now in my project and open some part and copy so and uh, i will copy this part number and uh, for example if i want if i go to the this part management and to search this part Okay, this is it. So now you can see uh, answer to your question. Uh, now we have uh, two symbols in our part from two disciplines. And we can just here um, simply go to, to editor and we can, maybe we can just uh, insert some more symbols. This is Wolf, so we can we can insert uh, some wolves let's say the the general wolf okay and now we have one more symbol you can click okay and for demonstration i can just create one more page in p pnid diagram and now i can drag and drop from a material list as you can see this new symbol now we have three three symbols in our part and everything is cross-referenced it's a kind of loop okay if i hope i uh, answered this question 
So yes, great. Thank you again, Gaspar. Uh, the next question is: uh, Does WSCAD support step files in cabinet engineering? Uh, step file, okay. Uh, yes, it's supported by step file. Um, if you want, I great. can also quickly uh, show you this. So yeah, um, sure, sure. Maybe uh, we'll jump over again to your screen. Okay, so I can share my screen again. Share. And maybe if I go to the part management again. Hmm. So step step file, okay. Um, so this is some part, okay. If I go back to a cabinet, and I want to insert some part which doesn't have a three D model, for example, okay. And if I show you the 3D view, now you can see it doesn't have a 3D model. And if we have a step file, we can just insert here in editor for with parts. We can go, we can go, um, so 3D model and I downloaded some. So now we have mesh file and this is already answer. We have step files. You can insert this one. Okay. Everything seems good, so we can import. Okay. And if I place one more part in our, okay, this is it. This is our step, uh, step foreman from yeah. some, from AT manufacturer. Okay. Uh, next uh, question. Is, uh, I saw some more questions. Yes, yes, there are more questions. Uh, the next one is, uh, is there a library of symbols in accordance to IEC 60617? Yes, it is. Um, I will just, uh, if I go to symbol library, um, so here we have four libraries. Uh, again, I don't see the, the, the standard according uh, which standard okay. exactly yes, number I, the same uh, six zero six one seven okay um this is for fluid i guess no um yes i think uh, i will check but i think it is this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can double this check standard. it and then, then, then um, get back to. Can I go just to see back? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we will, we will get back to 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 them uh, later when we double check this. Uh, next question is: What is the price? Do you have to buy license every year? Uh, and uh, the the price uh, highly depends on on your needs, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, WSCAD is highly customizable and flexible uh, software. So depending on what you're doing and what uh, you want to achieve, what modules you want to use, uh, and on the license, uh, the, the price can vary. Uh, about buying the license, every year there is a sus subscription uh, model where you buy uh, every year, pay every year. And there is also the perpetual 
option where you buy the, the license once and it's yours. You then have the option of uh, buying a software service. Uh, we have some more questions. Uh, does WSCAD have a data portal? Uh, yeah, we, we spoke about WSCAD universe. Uh, the, the database for parts. Uh, it and has it all... contains, yeah, it contains 1.4 million uh, parts. Yeah, yeah. From, yes, from uh, 350 different manufacturers. So it has a pretty big data portal. Uh, next question, what is the price? Okay, we, we answered this. Uh, do you organize any type of training and can you get the official certificate? Yes, we organized the training. Uh, the, our next training will be on 13th of, Feb, of uh, April. It will be a basic course, a three-day basic course. So yeah, you can uh, apply it to our yeah. course. And yeah, uh, basically you will co cover all knowledge in this course, uh, which you need for working with a VSCAD. Yes. Uh, next question, does WSCAD program uh, calculate cross-section of wires? Yes, it, it supports, it supports. Awesome. Uh, is it necessary to have cabinet engineering discipline advanced or expert version for working in 3D? Um, Yes, in cabinet engineering, we have um, so more, more level. Um, if you buy professional license, and then there is uh, one more add-on, uh, cabinet engineering, then you have all functional functionality. But um, without this, you can also work in the uh, compact license and in uh, advanced license in and in uh, a professional and uh, yes with uh, this 3d model you have this uh, possibility to import this uh, step step models and uh, with with this without this uh, cabinet model you don't that you don't have that uh, possibility yes yeah, so about the, the licenses and the functionalities overview of uh, each license you can write to us or contact us. I will uh, leave it on the next slide, our, our contact info. So you can contact us for more information. Uh, yes, the, the next question is, can separate modules be rented for some period of time? Uh, yes, uh, the prerequisite for this is to already have a license. Uh, and then you can rent just the module that, that you would need. Uh, where can we apply for training? So yeah, as I just said, uh, the, the contact info uh, is on the next slide. So I will just, yes, here it is. Uh, Gasper and my info and also our official VSCAD. Uh, contact for uh, Serbia and Slovenia. Mm. Okay, so I think that that is all the questions. So we can sum up uh, our workshop here. Uh, thank you, Kasper, first of all, for, for the demonstration and the great answers. Uh, and thank you all for joining us today. We will host more workshops like this, uh, so stay tuned. We would also like to offer you an option to, to test the SCAD uh, electric software free of charge. Uh, the link for the demo version is in the chat and uh, you will also get it in the email form uh, together with, with the recording of our workshop. Um, you can also contact us if you're interested in getting a presentation. So thank you once again and thank you. All the, all the best to you.